Hi world! Sorry the video isn't too bright, but I can't seem to find a position where you can see my face better. Um, I am not dressed up right now for the fact that I have been kind of sick. <laughs> um, it is now Monday and I had extreme stomach pain last Tuesday night. And Wednesday morning, it felt like my stomach exploded, so I, oh my god, I can't even tell you how bad it hurt. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It was like, all of a sudden, somebody was like, taking a dagger to my abdomen, and I was like, <laughs> I really couldn't even keep the pain inside. Like, I was yelling, like, that's how bad it hurt, and, um... Usually I'm good at keeping pain in, so it was terrible. But so I called my mom and I was like, I think I have to go to the hospital. And, oh, email. I never go to the hospital. I hate going to the hospital. I won't go for anything. And But at that moment, I knew something was terribly wrong. So my mom came and got me and I went to the hospital. I ended up going into surgery at like 5 o'clock because... I had a s appendicitis, so now I am appendixless. But anyway, I've been basically lounging around in these little dresses because I can't even wear pants where the incision site is right where pants would go. So um, just figured I'd update on that craziness. But I do have a kind of a life story that came out of it that I'd like to share with you. You know. Uh, there's an old story, I don't know if it's a story or a saying, how, like, be nice to everyone you meet, because you never know, like, when you're going to need them. Well, it actually happened to me. So I figured I'd share, because it's real. <laughs> um, when I was in the hospital, and I was being told that I had appendicitis, this woman came in, dressed in normal clothes, you know, and, um, she was talking to me about it and um she looked kind of familiar to me which is weird and so basically we were talking and I realized that she was a woman that I had helped several months before buy a ton of sandals from our stock at my store um there was some issues and stuff like that but she was really nice and I was really nice and um you know I dealt with the issue correctly and what she does is she takes those sandals every year to Africa and donates them. And little did I know that she does surgeries in Africa too. So I thought that was really cool. But um, so that was awesome to find some, you know, a familiar face in the hospital when I was scared. So I go upstairs and I'm in this little like cell with my bed getting ready, you know, to go into the surgery area. And... The woman walks back in that I knew, all in, in in surgical outfit, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And she's like, yeah, I'm your surgeon. And I'm like, wow, like, it's just crazy because you're so scared, you're in the hospital, you, you are in so much pain, you don't know what's going on around you. Like, I'm as scared of surgery as the next person, but <laughs> just knowing that you know, when you go in there, you're like, oh, I'm so scared. I don't know who's going in there, you know, stuff like that. But I knew who was going, you know, to do my surgery. And it was somebody that I had met earlier in life that I was really nice to in a, you know, potentially bad retail situation. And it's crazy because you think about it. <laughs> what if I was a total biatch to this woman? Like, what if, you know, what if I had a big attitude with her? What if it's just... It's just nuts because I could have been so rude to her and here she was about to, like, cut me open. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it's just, I don't know, I just figured I'd share that. It's kind of, it's weird, but it's kind of true, you know? Be nice to whoever you meet. You have, you have no idea when you're going to meet them again or when you're going to need them. I thought that was cool. So, but anyway, besides that, I've been sitting around the house pretty bored, but my mom's been taking care of me and so has Sarah. And I thank everyone for all the well wishes that they've been giving me on Facebook and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, just me here. Uh, text from Sarah, speak of the devil. But I um, figured I'd make a video.
because that was an interesting story. So, yeah, um, hit me up later, I guess. Oh, hey, I got new glasses. <laughs> I like them a lot. They're cool. On the inside, they're all pretty and flowery. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so, anyway, be nice to people you meet. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys again soon, hopefully. I'm probably going to be here for the whole week, so I'll probably try to think of something else to tell you all. <laughs> okay, bye, have a good one.